Oh my god! If you would like to see how I transformed this Fashion Nova 2 piece into a wedding dress, watch this video. Welcome back to my channel, a place for badass bitches. Or in today's episode, should I say, welcome back to me doing random things. Because today, you read it from the title, we're sewing a wedding dress out of a Fashion Nova two-piece. That's not random, I don't know, because I'm not getting married. <laughs> I already did that. I've had this two-piece for a long time now, and honestly, I know I'm not gonna ever wear it again. So I thought, let's make it something new. For those of you who don't know, my actual degree is in fashion design. I graduated from fashion school in 2013. It's like, that's what I do. I love it. I mean, I'm, I'm so passionate about it, and it's what I do Your passion all the time. Seem I actually haven't really sewn a garment. Suit? Sewn. I actually haven't produced a garment in a long time, probably over four or five years. I'm gonna show you my sketch that I did on my iPad in Procreate, so you can kind of see what I'm planning on doing. This is my illustration of the dress that I did on my iPad in Procreate. Now please keep in mind, this is probably the messiest and quickest sketch I've ever done in my entire fashion design career. I got my inspiration from my favorite designer, Vera Wang. Her bridal couture is just the most beautiful on earth and you're about to see why because I'm about to show you some inspiration photos that I took from her latest collection. We do see a lot of fluff but it's combined in a very modern way. We see thigh highs and crop tops. And without further ado, let's make this dress. So here we have this two-piece that I want to turn into a wedding dress. We have some yards of organza and some yards of, how do you say this in English? Tu. Tu? I don't know how you say this in English, but you know what this is. And out of this, we're going to make something on this sewing machine. Let's make it happen. A little update. It is hours later. Hours. I didn't realize how long this would take me. Also, I've had this sewing machine for probably two years. And this is the first time I'm using it today. <laughs> and that's on procrastination. However, got like one row sewed on. And let me tell you, this took forever. I had to figure out the machine. You know, like sewing machines, sometimes they can be assholes like printers. Like they're not doing what you're asking from them. I figured it out, but let me tell you, these fabrics are not very kind. So this is a game of patience. <laughs> the like button. It is the next day and of course I am far from finished. I have a long way to go and honestly I got a little bit stressed out this morning I started thinking why am I doing this like why am I doing this but as soon as I finally started today after a little bit of good old procrastination it felt so good and honestly the main reason I'm doing this is because sometimes it's very important to remind ourselves to do things because we like to do them or because we used to like to do them. To reconnect with yourself and who you used to be before you became an adult and had to do a lot of things because you had to do them. When you have time to yourself, with yourself, 
that truly shows who you are. What do you do when you're by yourself with all this time? Like, what do you gravitate towards? One thing I discovered in this whole quarantine year of 2020 is that I actually feel guilty for doing things I enjoy doing because I'm an adult and I need to use my time to make money and all these things. At some point you gotta stop thinking. You gotta really shut your head off. What do your daydreams look like? Like what are you doing in your daydreams? That tells you actually everything about you that you need to know. Also side note, if you ever sew something out of white fabric or any light fabric, I recommend not wearing this much makeup. I'm gonna try my best and try to explain the concept that I'm sewing these layers on the skirt with. So I'm cutting off pieces of tulle and organza. I still have not looked up how to say this in English. And I wanna go like cover the whole skirt until the top to the waist to make it a puffy skirt, right? So I cut out pieces so it reaches the floor. And the way I sew this on, this is the top of the skirt, this is the waist, right? So I'm starting from the bottom and I'm laying the piece down this way. So I have about four inches in the other direction. I sew right here in the middle and then this falls over like this. So I have these four inches of fabric underneath it to give it a little support to puff it up a little bit. So that was my intuitive idea. And what I first do when I cut off the pieces, I then go ahead and just sew a loose stitch right here where the four inch mark is. And then I pull on the top thread to ruffle it. You know what's funny, when I'm doing these kind of things, of course, like I usually listen to music. Can't do that right now because of the copyright. But whenever I do something creative, maybe painting or a photo shoot or sewing something, I need to listen to the music that gets me into the mindset of this thing. So since I'm sewing a wedding dress, I need to listen to like love songs and like kind of songs that go with this theme. I can't just listen to any music when I'm doing something particular, you know? I don't know, let me know in the comments, is that just me or is that any artist? If you're an artist of some sort, let me know if you need the right soundtrack to what you're doing. Can't even see me behind all this fabric. absolute disaster has happened okay I'm being dramatic but basically let me show you I was supposed to have two pieces like this like this size but tell me why I took the other piece and cut it in two why did I do that I don't know I was not focused in one moment and schnip schnap I cut it out yeah so now I have to figure it out but as always I figure it out it is now day three of this project and I'm done with the bottom part of the dress. However, I tried it on and it's cute, it's nice, but I felt like I need to do something to the top as well. So I decided to do something to it, but I had to go to Michael's real quick last minute to get some elastic. So I did that, I just came back from that. I'm gonna show you in the drawing what I'm going to change. Okay, so here we have the drawing. And basically, I'm done with this part, with this fluffy part. And I wanted to originally have like two strings here, like I saw in the inspiration photo. But I kind of don't want to do that anymore. So I decided to get some elastic and put it like across here and have some fabric more razzle-dazzling here. You know what I mean? So let's do that. I hope that makes sense. Elastic here, ruffle the fabric so it 
falls nicely over the chest so it is a little bit more cohesive let's do it Basically, I sewed a tunnel for the elastic that's going in here. I could have just sewed the elastic like right on to the fabric, but I thought it would be cuter this way because that way the elastic is kind of hidden, even though this is a transparent fabric, but it's kind of hidden and it also feels better on the skin than having the elastic directly rub against your skin. So I decided to do it this way. And now we have to get the elastic in here. Take a safety pin, poke it through the elastic like so close it and then just push it through and there we have it i'm ready are you ready for this reveal here comes the bride What do you guys think? I love how it turned out, honestly. I mean, a wedding dress with a crop top, hello? This is a wedding on a beach on a hot summer day. Yes. I love how fun and fluffy it is and I love making it. And this little fun detail, yes, I think this pulls it all together a little bit better. It would be cute without it too, but honestly, this gives it that last little razzle-dazzle. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, kind of impressed with myself for not having a plan for this. It's a little Coco Couture. How can you say no in this dress? I don't have white shoes, so I put on these clear slash black shoes, but it's okay. I feel like that's what Vera Wang would do. Let me know in the comments what you think of this creation. Is it trash? Is it good? Let me know. But don't hurt my feelings though, okay? And please hit the like button. Now, is this a masterpiece? No, it's not. It is a fun little DIY project. The whole point of this was to just, for me personally, to get back into something that I really love to do and spark back my creativity with this project and it really did. I have like all my next projects already lined up. And also I just want to show you how you can make something cool out of cheap things. All these fabrics that I used they were like super cheap. I ordered like 10 yards of the fabrics on Amazon for like 15-20 dollars. Do things that are fun. Do things that you love. That's the point. Do what you love and have fun. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the like button and please let me know in the comments if you liked what I did out of it. And if you want to see more like this, if you want to see more videos for badass bitches, subscribe to this channel. And please hit the like button. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.